The original Light Armored Vehicle, or LAV, was developed by General Dynamics Land Systems, Canada, GDLSC, and debuted in 1976 seeing nearly 500 units built for operators round the globe. The 11-ton vehicle was centered around a 6x6 wheeled chassis with adaptable mission equipment and armament, making it a versatile addition to any one service. Three major marks were ultimately manufactured, these as the Cougar, Grizzly, and Husky. In time, the series was revisited and upgraded to produce the 14-ton LAVII, which resulted in a more versatile 8x8-wheeled configuration. This form was introduced into service in the 1980s. The USMC selected the type and operated it under the LAV-25 designation. Meanwhile, the Canadians also took to the type under the Coyote and Bison names while Australia followed with their Aslav. While the vehicle has continued on in active service, the earlier marks are from a design rooted in Cold War doctrine and armored warfare theory, leading to an all-new model, the LAV-6, coming online in 2016. Based in the LAVII, the military truck continues to utilize an 8x8-wheeled arrangement and couples this with a more modular mission equipment approach, which includes broader support for modern weapons. Design work on the Mark spanned from 2009 to 2011 to which pilot vehicles followed in 2013, before formal service acceptance. The truck continues to be manufactured under the GDLSC brand label, and has been selected by the Canadian Army to succeed its aging line of LAVII and LAV3 trucks to be fielded in the Infantry Fighting Role IFV. The revised model tips the scales at 23 tons and has a running length of 25.8 feet with a beam of 10.7 feet and a height of 10.8 feet. Internally, there is an operating crew of three with seating for eight passengers under light protection. Over the hull roof is a powered turret emplacement which features a 25mm M242 Bushmaster automatic cannon, with 7.62mm coaxial machine gun mounting. The Bushmaster fitting can be replaced with a remote weapon station, RWS. The truck is powered by a single Caterpillar C9 Series 6-cylinder turbocharged diesel-fueled engine to 450 horsepower, driving the vehicle to speeds of 60 mph out to a range of 370 miles. The 8x8-wheeled configuration gives this IFV a go-anywhere capability, the system able to keep pace with the main fighting force or operate independently. The chassis is suspended by way of an independent hydropneumatic system. Externally, the LAV-6 retains the proven form and function of the original. Road wheels are large and ground clearance is excellent. The glassy plate is shallow and broad with the driver seated at front left and the engine to his right. This frees the middle rear hull for the turret, ammunition, onboard systems, and passenger seating. Beyond the traditional hatches fitted to the hull roof and turret, there is a larger, more conventional entry at the rear hull facing. The sides of the hull can accommodate everything from Pioneer tools to extra fuel. The cheek sections of the turret seat twin banks of four smoke grenade dischargers. The LAV-6 has a line of subvariants under it that includes the base infantry section carrier, ISC, followed by a command post, observation post, engineering, and SH short range air defense, SHORAD, form, among others. Such is its versatility. Similarly, the Armored Combat Support Vehicle ACSV, is a parallel variant of the base LAV-6. This design showcases its own set of subvariants that includes a troop cargo carrier, command post, mobile repair team, and electronic warfare form among others. The Canadian Army is the primary operator of the LAV-6 series to date, 2023, while a modest stock has been sent by the country to Ukraine to further the defense of the country against Russian aggression. At least 39 have been shipped and these are known locally as the Super Bison. For its part, the Canadian Army has on hand over 600 LAV, six hulls with a further 350 or so still to be delivered.